Hey friends, Jessica here with Creators Couture. So the other day on my Behance, I did a little free brush making class. And so I was showing a little peek into the process of how I create some of my brushes. And so when I was doing this demo, I created a new kind of brush. And I wanted to create a brush that had a little bit of like dry texture to it. So it was really fun to play around with that. And what I did was I showed um, you guys how I kind of did it from start to finish, um, how I started with my brush tips. And for this brush in particular, I was playing, I wanted to use my mixer brush settings. So I wanted to play around with that and really have that dry effect. But what was cool is that the brush was able to be used also with my pattern stamp technique. And it looked pretty cool and gave some really different effects. So I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the brush strokes that we, I created during that. And um, yeah, we can just see what it is. So this is, which brush is this? So this is final, like the brush that I created and I've got it loaded up with, I loaded this up with an image from an image that has lots of different colors. So you can see all of those colors in the brush, but you can create some really cool things, um, really cool strokes and just have some fun with this. There's like a lot of different things you could do, but the main thing was to get, oops, to get the, um, the effect to have this dry sort of artistic textural brush stroke, which I think it did really well. I might take up my um, smoothing just a little bit because then you're going to get some cool strokes, but we can see all those colors in the brush strokes and it was really fun to like make that together and show you all the different settings and stuff. So we did that one and here's another, I think it's the same brush, but I've loaded it with some different colors and you can see just um, like what happens with this brush but it's very dry it's very artistic and it's fun oh here's the colors that i loaded it up with i actually used a like a picture of a flower to load all those colors up in there and just created some really cool effects and then i did some experimenting so then i turned the texture off and we can get these really streaky sort of effects because actually i changed the um rather than having a jitter on the size of the tip, I had no jitter and then it creates the a more of a streaky effect and I turned off the texture. So that's really fun and you could really cool, make some cool um, sort of effects and you could also use this in, you know, surface pattern designs, what have you. And here's the brush with a little extra texture added in which you can really feel when you're brushing. Um, and then the colors are kind of blended like more softer and stuff, but something different. So we played around with all of that. And um, this one has a little bit of, it's like streaky. I made a version of this with like a little bit of a taper. So that one was okay. Um, and then what was really fun is I was playing around with a brush fade and we could really get some cool sort of uh, effects. And I think that this could be really cool to make like a little floral tip using this brush because it's got that fade into it so this is a really fun setting to play with and i think you could do some really cool things with that in fact you could just make like a flower just like that um super cool or you know you could have them like from a side view but very abstract and do you can just do so many things with brushes so check that out and then also i had started to take that same brush and use my pattern stamp technique and it also created some different effects, which I kind of just started, I mean, this is like nothing, but just a little, I was just playing around with like, oh, maybe I'll have some flowers. Um, so that just made it all the more versatile. This is the same brush. And then I was kind of playing around with doing something more abstract, but just, I was just getting started. I didn't wrap any of those up because it's just more about experimenting and having fun with it. But here I can show you the brush rather than using the wet brush settings to use like the pattern stamp technique. And you know, it, it's, it's kind of um, bandy, but in this case, I like how it, um, it, I like the effect that it creates. Cause normal, most of the time I don't want to have those color bands in my brushes unless it's intentional. Um, but this could be used to create uh, some really cool, um, you know, like abstract backgrounds and things. And here I had played with this. I had sampled some colors from a pink rose and 
So then I played around with like making a kind of a fluffy sort of rose with that brush. So that's the same brush with just no mixer brush settings. It's using my multicolor pattern stamp technique. So if you have any questions, just let me know. But the full tutorial is linked down below in my Behance. So um, I will see you next time.